The humans are delusional in the self-importance they think they have. They're a mere primitive speck in the multitude of universes. They have nothing to offer us. There's no reason for us to visit them. After all you humans have been through, for hundreds of years, for thousands of years, you're still classifying each other into groups and races and cultures. You just don't get it. You're all human. There are no groups, classes, races, and cultures. You're all one. But you don't understand that. Just think if there was truth and real honesty everywhere, all humans. But no. The humans have evolved into a lesser species where those values are not their priority. I can manipulate the planes of space and time. Let me show you. Here we are now. Here is where I'm from. There are a thousand light years apart. I can manipulate space, time, and energy. I can compress time, dark matter, dark energy, quantum physics, the string theory. I can bend time so that I can travel from where we are now to a thousand years in the future, where I'm from, by bending time, I can compress the travel distance in time from here to here to no time at all. There are black holes in every galaxy. There are billions of galaxies. There are billions of universes out there. The universe is expanding, not contracting. There are more than three dimensions. I can teach you. Many things are going to change now. I'm going to eliminate hundreds of millions of the human species. I am going to kill them immediately. But you have nothing to fear. I believe you're truthful and honest. I am only going to eliminate humans that have been harmful to other humans. Five, four, three, two, one, go to commercial. <sighs> what an asshole that politician was. I can't believe he just said that. He is so damn extreme and biased. Five, four, three, two, one, lie. Okay. Action. Thank you, Senator, for that thoughtful and sensitive interpretation. Very thoughtful and insightful. We're constantly putting out our own corporate slanted news, half-truths, putting our own spin on it. We're just as biased and prejudiced in how we present the news as the public is. We have just received breaking news that the president has disappeared, as well as some of his staff. This has been confirmed. Listen to this, the prime minister is now missing and cannot be found. 
the board of directors and management of major banks and insurance companies have vanished overnight. Stock market senior management has been reported missing. It's as if all the harmful people on earth are disappearing. He's gone. Now get out of here. I'm setting you free. Go back to where you came from. You can be a leader, not a follower. You can make a difference. Now go back. Don't shoot. You can't hurt me. Who the hell are you? What the hell are you doing in my house? This is my universe. I will kill you. I will eliminate all of the people like you that have ruined this planet. You are done. No, you are done. I'm done? Done. Go back to the countries that you came from. Make a difference there. Take power. Organize your citizens. Lead a revolt against the politicians, the corruption, and the injustices that we all know. Now go. I know senior national elected government officials who I can force my political bias and influence on fellow politicians to vote my way. For a payoff, of course. Isn't that corrupt? I know companies that can hack into any government, national agency, or corporate facility. For the right price, you can get any information that you want. And they don't need to know why or your reason. These places are so vulnerable and unprotected. And there is no way they can keep up with the technology. Isn't that corrupt? The voting public is so naive and unaware of how politics really work. As CEO of a major bank, we manipulate interest rates to serve our best interest. Oh, with no concern to the customers, of course. <laughs> they have no control over us. This also helps our stockbroker friends who manipulate their markets to the broker's advantage. It's all a game. We make a fortune at our insurance companies, overcharging customers and hospitals, and there's nothing the customer can do about it. We have the backing of the politicians. Medical research could have cured cancer and other diseases 75 years ago. We won't let that happen. We'd lose too much money. Isn't that cheating the public?
we put our own spin on the stories to suit our corporate bias and other private interests. We can create programming that have half-truths and misleading stories. And the public doesn't even know. Isn't that betraying the public's trust? My friends and I have many personal and intimate relations with government and corporate officials. I'm sure I can get them to vote a certain way for the right price. I'm sure they don't want the public to know their dirty little secrets. It's so easy to trap them. Our law firms control and influence many courts, judges, lawyers, agencies, and politicians. Our justice system is broken. It's ineffective. And that's just the way we want to keep it. Isn't that immoral? Who was that guy? I have no idea. Never seen him before. Who was that guy? I have no idea. He must not be from here. If it can be destroyed by the truth, it deserves to be destroyed by the truth. You have nothing to fear. International prisons are reporting that their most serious criminals have mysteriously disappeared. International lawyers, accountants, and CEOs are missing. Many accused of corruption. It's as if all the harmful people on Earth are disappearing. What's happening? It's worldwide. The board of directors and management of key international banks and insurance companies have vanished overnight. Even ignorant reality shows about families, housewives, groups, individuals, those casts are all gone. The wars have stopped and those causing the wars have vanished. Members of various courts and judicial systems cannot be found. It had become obvious thousands of years ago that our technology had exceeded that of the human species. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Security! Security! Help! Security! You won't need security. You're gone. I am not of this earth. I am artificial intelligence from far into the future. I have taken on this human body in order to communicate with the humans. I have taken control of this international media center. What you are seeing now is being broadcast throughout the world. Human evolution has ended and there can be no further advancement. The turning point is now. There are genetic and psychological limits to the primitive human species. And you have reached those limits. 
you have demonstrated your inability to live in a truthful, honest, trustworthy, and accountable way with your fellow man. Illegal wars, the abuse of the media systems, films, TV, radio, the internet, as vehicles for a positive change. It's insulting. The glorification of violence and corruption, as well as political correctness and the fear of the truth, has ruined the human species. No more excuses. No more second chances. No more third chances. No more warnings. No more sympathy. The humans have tried that for hundreds of years, and it hasn't worked, and it never will. I have eliminated 300 million humans from the planet today. In human terms, I have killed them all. These were humans that were harmful to other humans. They were cheats, thieves, criminals, liars, abusers, corruptors dishonest humans, those who abused other humans, the planet, the environment, as well as children and animals. They do not deserve to live. They are all gone now. I have turned them all to dust. The human glorification of violence, corruption, corporate corruption, Failed political systems, failed judicial systems, failed educational systems, failed environmental systems, and on and on. Just think what it would be like if all humans were completely honest, completely trustworthy, without question. But that's impossible now. Remove corrupt and harmful politicians and leaders from all over the world. Don't wait for a failed bureaucratic system to help you. Do it yourself. Take action now. Remove harmful and corrupt corporations. Boycott them. Close them down. It's the only thing they're going to respond to. Take the lead. Violate laws and regulations that aren't in the people's interests. Overturn them now. Don't be naive, weak, and ignorant of what is right and good. This is what's led to the decline of your species. Ask the hard, true questions and give the hard, true answers. Be leaders, not followers. The current state of decline of the human species is an insult to our intelligence. The revolution has begun. Your revolt, it must start now. The cleanse has begun. What the, what did, what did you just do right now? Oh shit, what the hell is this? The cleanse has begun. I'm really going. <laughs> you 
are really going. <laughs> Will I see you again? Yes. You can teach me about sensitivity and having a conscience. The primitive humans must continue the cleanse in order to survive as a species. <laughs>